You know, I've heard people on your team talk about all the great things coming up. And, and as you start thinking about much more unlimited compute, chat GPT-6 and beyond, robotics, physical devices, scientific research. As you as you look forward to 2026, what do you think surprises us the most? What 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 are you most excited about in terms of what's on the drawing board? You I mean you just hit on a lot of the key points there. I, I think Codex has been an, a very cool thing to watch this year. And as these go from multi-hour tasks to multi-day tasks, which I expect to happen next year, what people be able to do to create software at an unprecedented rate and, and really in fundamentally new ways. I'm very excited for that. I think we'll see that in other industries too. I have like a bias towards coding. I understand that one better, but I think we'll see that really start to transform what people are capable of. I, I hope for very small scientific discoveries in 2026, but if we can get those very small ones, we'll get bigger ones in future years. That's a really crazy thing to say is that like AI is going to make a novel scientific discovery in 2026, even a very small one. This is like, this is a wildly important thing to be talking about. So I'm excited for that. Certainly robotics and computer and new kind of computers in future years, that'll be, that'll be very important. But yeah, my personal bias is if we can really get AI to do science here, that is, I mean, that is super intelligence in some sense. Like if, if this is expanding the total sum of human knowledge, that is a crazy big deal. Yeah, I mean, I think one of the things to you know, use your codex example, I think the combination of the model capability, I mean, if you think about the magical moment that happened with ChatGPT was the UI that met intelligence that just took off, right? It's just, you know, uh, unbelievable right form factor. And some of it was also the instruction following piece of model capability was ready for chat. I think that that's what the codex and the, you know, these coding agents are about to help us, which is what's that, you know, coding agent goes off for a long period of time, comes back, and then I'm then dropped into what I should steer. Like one of the metaphors I think we're all sort of working towards is I do this macro delegation and micro steering. What is that UI meets this new intelligence capability? And you can see the beginnings of that with Codex, right? The way at least I use it inside a GitHub Copilot is like, you know, it's now, it's just a, it's just a different way than the chat interface. And I totally. think that, that I think would be a new way for the human computer interface, quite frankly. It's probably bigger than, that, that might be the departure. That's one reason I'm very excited that we're doing new form factors of computing devices, because computers were not built for that kind of workflow very well. Certainly a UI like ChatGPT is wrong for it. But this idea that you can have a device that is sort of always with you, but able to go off and do things and get micro steer from you when it needs and have like really good contextual awareness of your whole life and flow. I'm, I think that'd be cool.